It had been 200 years since Carl had been exiled from the galactic community, sent through the only portal ever deliberately created to hell for his attempts to bring down the galactic parliament and destroy a way of life that had ensured stability for eons. His name, face and voice was still recognized throughout the cosmos, the seditious traitor whose mere mention still gave leaders across the Milky Way a chill down their spine, or its species equivalent. Which is why every intelligence agency and investigative organization in the galaxy was trying to work out if the broadcast that went out across all spacefaring systems announcing his imminent return was real or a hoax for which someone was going to be executed. Before they could find out, it was answered for them. A second broadcast was received, and this one could be tracked. The signal had been traced to an unknown fleet approaching inhabited space. What had truly terrified every member of the Galactic Parliament was what he had said. Carl returning was no longer what everyone was worried about. It was how he ended his latest message that was causing widespread riots across the galaxy. I am here for vengeance and I'm bringing hell with me. Despite a mass panic, militaries across the galaxy scrambled together the largest fleet ever assembled and raced to head off the approaching fleet of the damned. The fleet admiral was confident, even with the understandable fear lurking in the back of his mind. The fleet assembled outnumbered Carl's approaching forces ten to one and was made up of the pinnacle of military technology of over a hundred races. Even against such a legendary military tactician such as Call, they knew they would be victorious. Then the battle started. They hadn't counted on Carl's tactical knowledge being even sharper than when he had been exiled, or him now having access to unknown technologies. The Hell Fleet tore through the Allied forces. It seemed to have a counter for every weapon and tactic they used, while its unknown weapons ripped through shields and armor like it was designed specifically to exploit their every weakness. Every ship was disabled and left drifting in the void as the war fleet of hell carried on to Utan Station, seat of power for the whole galaxy. Seeing this unstoppable fleet approaching, many representatives of the species that made up the parliament started sending desperate messages to the hell fleet, some wanting to negotiate, some just begging to be spared. The one everyone heard was from the Prime Representative, leader of the Galactic Alliance as it was broadcast live. Carl, listen to reason. Look at violence erupting across the galaxy. Is one man's man's vengeance worth all the deaths of the people you claimed to be standing for when you were banished? Stay your hand, or we will be forced to unleash the black ship. Around the galaxy, people froze. The black ship was a legendary myth to most, a weapon so terrible it had never been deployed. It could tear entire fleets apart. The only reason it was never used was it weapons made hyperspace travel impossible for light years around for years, and the psychic shock destroyed all life, friend and foe, that's anywhere near any system it was used in. The galaxy held its breath, waiting for Carl's response. You dare threaten me with the black ship, its former captain? Do you honestly think I hadn't planned for that? Hadn't already neutralized it, captured it, and turned it to my cause before I announced my return? You think I'm here for my own personal vengeance? You can't sway me from my course with threats and bribes. I am your end, your final judgment. When you banished me all those years ago, you made one massive miscalculation. You assumed the inhabitants of Hell were mindless beasts of wrath and destruction, which they may have been millennia ago last time we saw them. By the time I was sent there, they had evolved, matured, and were now not only intelligent, but reasonable too. And they would have reached here in another one hundred years, even without my help and knowledge. And when they found out about the vassal status you inflict on all new races that ascend, the servitude you inflict on them, 
that you still inflict on a 1,000 worlds to this day, let's just say it wasn't a fate they were going to accept. As his ship approached the Parliament, radiating a bright light that almost blinded those who looked upon it, the last transmission Utan Station would ever receive was broadcast, not Carl's voice this time, but a chorus of voices of those who followed him. Behold a pale steed, and its rider's name was Freedom, and hell follows him, and power was given to him over the galaxy, to kill with railgun and hunger for liberty, and with death to tyrants, and with the beasts of earth. 